I got nothing on this one. Robocop 3, directed by Fred Decker, featuring a screenplay by Frank Miller once more. But this time it doesn't feature Peter Weller in the starring role of Robocop. Instead it features an actor known as Robert John Burke. And also features the only returning cast member from the first two movies is Nancy Allen as Anne Lewis. And the plot is set five years after the... Kane Detroit Massacre. OCP is on the verge of bankruptcy since they were forced to pay millions to the victims of the massacre and are now struggling with their supposed plans to create the new Delta City, which was planned years ago and was set in motion, but the project is still on halt and they are unable to speed up the process. But to speed that up and to verge back the profits, they have to create an armed force of urban rehabilitators, rehabs for short, under the command of Paul McDagger, who's played by John Castle. Although the purpose is to combat, combat, combat rising old, rising crime in old Detroit, the ranks of the Detroit police of apprehending the violent criminals, but in reality, it has been set up to forcibly relocate the residents of Cadillac Heights, killing some of them if needs be, including the parents of this young little girl, and we'll get on to her in a second. And in the process, the police force is gradually superseded by the rehabs, and violent crime begins to spiral out of control. The Dell City Dream and the former OCP CEO, the old man, lives on with the help of the uh, cooperation from the from Japan, which has brought a, constr a controlling stake in the organization, and the head of it sees the potential in the citywide redevelopment and moves forward with the plans to remove the current citizens, and then the company develops and uses its own ninja androids called Otomo to help McDaggett and the OCP president, played by Rip Torn to overcome the resistance of the anti-OCP militia forces. Now this is where the movie starts to crumble. They try to do a family friendly approach but the trouble is with Robocop it's not a family friendly franchise and as a result this movie just tanked completely and it's perfectly you know justified why because this I mean Bless the cast, they did the best with this. And you know, they were really trying to pull off a good job given the very poor script by Frank Miller, who like I said, he was sadly in his post Dark Knight Returns day, so it was really rapidly, well let's just say the train was going downhill. And this was just a terrible movie that I still hate to this day. It completely satirises Robocop. And I think the only decent thing was in this movie was the media break stuff. But even that got tired after a while. But, you know, it was just such a terrible movie. And there's nothing else to give this movie a, a, but a... a, 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 a <laughs> there's nothing else to give this movie except to 1 out of 10. And that's going to do it for the Robocop trilogy. And I'm about to head and see... The Robocop remake. Will it be good? Will it be bad? I don't know yet, but I shall tell you guys later on tonight. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to get that video. And comment below and tell me what your favourite Robocop movie is. And I shall see you guys on the next one. And take care.